a fairly short video today to show how to migrate an Orchard application from SQL CE to SQL Express using WebMatrix. So what I have here is a website uh, running Orchard 1.1. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So this is it. It's, an, it's a real site. It has search. It has a few uh, additional modules installed. Uh, it has some uh, book reviews. Um, so it's a it's a real site with some real contents. And I'm going to switch back to Web Matrix. And as you can see in the settings.txt file that describes the uh, basic settings of uh, the instance that you can find in App Data. Uh, sites default. You can see that my current data provider is SQL CE and actually I have a SQL CE database here and I can actually open that uh, in WebMatrix and look at some of the data in there. <coughs> so what I'm going to, to do here is uh, click on that uh, orchard.sdf uh, file in the database uh, tab and I'm going to click migrate. And here I'm going to migrate to my SQL Express um, uh, server that I have on the on the box and click OK and replace the existing database and migration was successful. The old database was renamed so the database is still there uh, as a backup but it's not being used anymore. Um, as you can see the connection disappeared here. We have we if we go to files the file changed here, so let's reload it. And as you can see, the data provider switched to SQL Server here, and my data source uh, now points to the um, connection string for the new SQL Server database that was created. <coughs> and actually, if I refresh that directory here, you can see that my uh, old database has been renamed. And now the site is pointing to the new one. So let's just switch back to uh, the site here and uh, see if it still works. And there you have it. Our site still works. You can still go to my home page look at my blog posts and everything is there, nothing changed except that now I'm hitting the SQL Server database instead of SQL CE. Thank you very much.